We're going to get into the weather today in just a moment, but first we have a very special announcement. AccuWeather releasing its 2024 hurricane season forecast. Batten down the hatches. It's going to be a busy season according to our tropical experts and our long-range forecasting team. Here is the official AccuWeather forecast hot out on the presses right now. This is a big, big number. Named storms, this includes all named storms, tropical storms and hurricanes, between 20 and 25. That is well above the historical average. Of those 20 to 25 storms, we are forecasting 8, and eight to 12 of those will be hurricanes. And of those 8 to 12 hurricanes, this is another scary number here, 4 to 7 major hurricanes. That's at least Category 3 with maximum sustained winds at 111 miles per hour. And another important uh, part of this forecast, we not only give the numbers, we try to give you the, or we give you the direct impacts along the United States from these storms, which could be a tropical storm or a hurricane. And right now, we are forecasting 4 to six. Again, this is the latest release of our AccuWeather forecast, and now we want to take you to the lead author. AccuWeather's hurricane expert, Alex DeSilvia, is here to make sure that you're prepared to make the best decisions to protect your family and property for this hurricane season. So, Alex, we just looked at the numbers. I know you guys have been working on this over the last couple of months. Let's take the viewers in behind the numbers and explain some of the key talking points or the key parts parts of this hurricane season. Absolutely, Bernie. It is going to be a very, very busy season this year. We are forecasting above the average number of hurricanes, named storms, major hurricanes that can impact the United States. Here's a look at uh, a graphic here. Um, we are predicting a chance of even exceeding 25 named storms. The record for named storms in the Atlantic is 30 back in 2020. And we even think there's a 10 to 15 percent chance that this could happen. We are very concerned about rapid intensification this year. Think about Hurricane Ian a couple of years ago where it just exploded when it got into the Gulf of Mexico. Very warm sea surface temperatures this year uh, can make the hurricane season prone to seeing a lot of rapid, rapidly intensifying systems. And we're also concerned about the United States, this area, Texas coast, Florida coast, mm -hmm. and up into the Carolinas. <clears throat> Let's talk about some of the um, uh, kind of the impacts, or not so much the impacts, but the reason, rationale behind the forecast, and of course, we've heard so much this winter about the El Nino, and we saw what it did in California, but, uh, but you and the long-range forecasting team are convinced that it's actually going to be switching to a La Nina. Absolutely, Bernie. We are already starting to see signs of this change going on in the equatorial East Pacific. We're starting to see the waters begin to cool, and we expect that trend to continue here over the next couple of months. Now, historically, um, warm water in the Atlantic Ocean, um, or the waters in the Atlantic Ocean, have been very warm over the last couple of years, and it seems like this year could be a record-breaking year. Last year, the warmest temperatures we've ever seen in the Atlantic Ocean, and this year we are outpacing that number right now. We also have to keep an eye on the strength and location of the Bermuda High, as that will be the steering pattern for the hurricane season. Let's go over the forecasting factors one by one. Explain to the viewers there's a couple of reasons that once you go from an El Nino to a La Nina, that that increases the probability of tropical activity. Yeah, Bernie. Uh, typically, when we go into a La Nina period, uh, we see less wind shear across the basin. Now, wind shear, I like to explain it to people. Think of a stack of pancakes, right? So you want your stack of pancakes to stand nice and tall up into the air. And hurricanes are a similar way. They like their thunderstorms to stretch straight up into the atmosphere. But when you have a lot of wind shear, which is a change in wind direction and speed with height as you go up, that can essentially knock over that stack of pancakes and prevent tropical development. Now, also with the uh, El Nino, uh, La Nina, you, you also believe, and you and the forecasting team, that this is going to increase the number of tropical waves coming off Africa. It absolutely can. Typically during a La Nina, we, uh, we talk about the African wave train. Now, most of our hurricanes, major hurricanes, are actually born off the coast of Africa. And, so, um, and then they translate across the, uh, the uh, Atlantic there. And so we're concerned that during a La Nina period, we can see a more active African wave train, which can lead to more tropical development, more systems, and potentially more hurricanes getting close to the United States. And Alex, of course, one of the main uh, ingredients is warm waters. Now, the water temperatures in the Atlantic are always warm enough for tropical activity uh, during the hurricane season, but uh, th these water temperatures are even warmer than normal. 
Absolutely, Bernie. Typically, we look for about 80 degrees Fahrenheit to sustain tropical development. Now, basically, everywhere across the Atlantic almost, especially across that main development region, uh, we're seeing a lot, uh, temperatures several degrees above uh, normal for this time of year. We're seeing temperatures that would be more comparable to early summer in March. So we are, that's why we are very concerned. If those temperatures are already summer-like right now, what could be down the road here when we actually get to the main, uh, the main hurricane season? Now, one of the biggest steering factors is the Bermuda High. And if you know, so we know there's going to be a lot of storms. We're telling you about rapid intensification. But if you can figure out where that upper level high is, that Bermuda High, then that gives you some idea about the steering and where these storms could go. Explain. Absolutely, Bernie. Uh, that Bermuda High is the main steering mechanism, especially when storms are out in the Atlantic. Uh, if the high stays weaker and further to the east, that can steer most of the storms out into the open Atlantic, uh, really only bothering shipping, uh, shipping interests. Uh, if the high bulges a little bit to the west, that can force the storms to the, t towards the United States. Now this year, we're, we're thinking that the high, at least to start the season, might be a little bit south and, and to the east, which may steer a couple of systems out to sea, but if it's far, far enough south, it can actually steer some into the uh, Caribbean, which can eventually move towards the United States. Let's talk about landfall, and that's obviously the, the million dollar question. You can have a lot of storms, but if you don't get any landfalls, then the U.S. could be spared. But when you look at what you do, I know a long range forecaster, you do a lot of analogs or seasons in the past that are similar to what we're looking at this year, that tells a, a story of problems along the East Coast this year, or let's say the U.S. coastline. It does, Bernie. What we did was we took a look at 11 years that had similar atmospheric patterns to this one. So we took a look at El Nino, La Nina, water temps, a bunch of different factors. And we plotted where those storms made landfall in those 11 years. And you can see that we have a couple of hot spots, Texas, the Florida Panhandle, South Florida, and up into the Carolinas. Uh, so Texas has been, a, it's been a few years since Texas has been directly impacted by a hurricane. And so we don't want people to become complacent. You must prepare every single year as if this is the year that you're going to be impacted by a major hurricane. All right, AccuWeather the lead hurricane expert, Alex De Silvia. Uh, Alex, thanks for the information. And of course, we'll be talking to you in the next coming weeks. Looks like a busy season.